Welcome back to One Comic Book A Day, where I'm trying to speak slower. Today we are covering Action Comics 121, Superman vs. Atlas. Yes, the Greek Titan, who is very mighty, as is later pointed out, so he's going to fight Superman. And by fight, they never actually fight, it's mostly three challenges. It's always three challenges. There's these two explorers investigating areas in Greece where they inadvertently find a tomb isn't the right words. It's it's ruins where they find the Greek Titan Atlas. And Atlas immediately wakes up. One of the two guys says out loud that he is almost as mighty as Superman. And immediately hearing that the Superman is so mighty and that he is lesser to him, he wants to prove that he's the better man. The Greek Titan, by the way, doesn't dress like he's from Greece. He's wearing like the jungle print leotard of a circus strongman or of a generic caveman. He's not wearing Greek robes. It's very specific. They do try to claim later, and this is why this comic is kind of infuriating and a little confusing. I say little, a lot confusing. He claims not to be Atlas near the end of the story, but he does seem to be Atlas. The story seems to be missing like a story beat to explain things because the villain's plan in the story also doesn't really make much sense. So with the help of one of the two explorers, a man by the name of Sharp, who seems to be more of a gangster racketeering type than an explorer, I don't understand why he was exploring these Greek ruins. What was in it for him? He sets up these three challenges, him and Superman go up against each other, and, well, of course, they're rigged. One of which is them throwing ships, like tankers. And Atlas is able to throw his tanker across all of the United States into the Pacific Ocean, from the Atlantic to the Pacific. What's funny about this is it's revealed that the ship is hollow and there's a blimp inside it. But blimps don't move very fast, so this tanker would have taken days to get across. It would have moved very slowly. There would have been almost no momentum compared to how you throw something and how it should go down. So everyone should have been very suspicious about seeing this tanker slowly fly across the United States. But of course, Superman ends up figuring this out and tells Atlas, and Atlas is angry. Now, the villain's plan was to use all of this for blackmail to make millions, though I'm unclear of how that was supposed to happen. I guess he's blackmailing Atlas because he's not really Atlas, and then Atlas is making millions because of he beat Superman. This comic started with like a grabber, a sometimes opening of Superman where they jump in the future and then we go back. They sort of try to hook us with him losing, except they decide to do it with just a headline, Superman loses, but that's really low key. Go big with it. Have the entire nation in depression because Superman has lost. Probably not the right word there, seeing they just got out of the Depression. So Atlas is now enraged because he won that competition because it was rigged, and they both get together and beat Sharp and his men. And Atlas admits that Superman is stronger because it's the Superman comic, not the Atlas comic. If he is Atlas. Still not exactly clear on that. So this story needed uh, two or three rewrites to quite get whatever they were trying. It's really weird how hard they try to get Atlas and Superman to fight each other or have a competition against each other. Superman fought Mercury in an issue, and that didn't take a lot of work to get Mercury and Superman to fight. This one just is convoluted in how it tries to get them together. Okay, that is it from Superman vs. Atlas, Action Comics 121. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when new videos up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Fridays is Bat Friday, where I cover a Batman story in either Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the man of tomorrow? And what is happening in this comic? Like, it feels like the underpants gnomes from... South Park. We're missing a step here. Okay, have a great day.